everybody, Hilton Yam here of 10 Performance, back with another episode of the 10 Performance Lab. We're going to take a look at the Gen 2 STI grip module today, and specifically the ODS, or Officer's Double Stack, which is the new shorter grip module, and probably the, the biggest change of the Gen 2s. In my hand here, I've got one of the Gen 2 full-size modules. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the difference between these and the legacy grip modules and uh, see what that means for you. If you are new to the 2011 in general, the original guns originated from this, which is, uh, this is actually an original 1992 vintage Chip McCormick modular frame kit. So uh, you probably looking at it going, eh, it looks, looks just about the same as uh, the STIs we've seen. So yeah, that's right. Um, the format hasn't changed really significantly. And the grip module that you see on this guy here uh, is basically the same one that the uh, gun that we now know is a 2011 uh, has had since roughly 1992 uh, until about sometime in uh, late 2018, early 2019, uh, STI managed to uh, start coming up with prototypes of what we now see as a Gen 2 grip module. What people usually notice first in the Gen 2 grip module is that it has uh, molded in texturing and it is different than the hand texturing that you see on the tree bark styled uh, legacy grip module. So the legacy grip module, got it right here, uh, has uh, hand applied texturing uh, over the original molded in double diamond checkering uh, that you saw on the Chip McCormick grip frame. We'll throw that right back up here for you to see and compare with this guy right here. So um, why the change? Well, first of all, it's uh, the texturing, both in terms of the actual appearance the contours and how much traction the texturing uh, actually provided uh, was different from gun to gun. Uh, so you can line up 20 STIs and they all look and feel a little bit different because uh, this tree bark texturing was done uh, by hand. Uh, it was done by hand and this is molded in. So from a production standpoint, it makes a ton more sense. And if you line up 20, 30, 100 STIs, they're all going to feel exactly the same uh, because the grip module now has uh, molded in enhancements. So specifically, uh, you'll feel the first thing is that the high cut in the front uh, a lot more ergonomic and the circumference of the grip uh, feels a little bit smaller. The corners at the front of the grip have been uh, reduced, so it's a little rounder in the front. Uh, the texturing is very consistent, of course, geometrically very, very consistent. Uh, and it is, it's a good compromise between having good traction and not being so much that when you carry this, say, inside pants, uh, appendix position uh, against your skin, that it is chewing you up. So it is, uh, I, I like the traction and it is uh, very functional, extremely functional uh, and consistent. Another important change on the Gen 2 module is the magazine catch is unique to the Gen 2 module. So it is a completely new magazine catch because the interior of the catch uh, engagement to the grip module is different and it is a lot stronger uh, than the original version. Now you're probably thinking, oh, the original one seemed to have held up pretty well. Overall it did, but there are some uh, inherent weaknesses uh, where you could get some cracking in the grip module. The manner in which the new magazine catch interfaces is a lot more robust and uh, the opportunity for it to develop a crack is pretty much removed. With the reinforcements in place, the new Gen 2 modules do not fit on older frames. So uh, if you look at the newer frames from around late 2018 and onwards, they have a, a relief cut on the uh, bottom front of them, which you'll see here in the photo. And that allows the reinforced Gen 2 module to fit on there. Is it possible to modify your legacy frame to fit a Gen 2 module? Yes, but if you're thinking you're already getting your Dremel tool out, just, just stop. Don't do it. All right. While it is possible, 
Uh, do not recommend that as a home or self or kitchen table mod. Just, just don't do it. If you have a gunsmith who is familiar with 2011s, they can easily do this for you. But overall, I would say just don't, just, just get a new gun. All right. No, we don't get a cut on all the new guns sold or anything, but it's just, um, there are a lot of enhancements to the way the guns are built now. So, uh, it's, it's just worth, if you want to get updates, get the whole package updated. One more thing about the difference in the modules. Most of the time, if you were following my Instagram, Facebook, whatever, uh, you'll see that I run my guns with no uh, aluminum add-on magazine well, and usually people will see uh, the bottom of the frame and they'll ask, oh, where'd you get that magazine well? I didn't. It is part of the grip module. It is molded in and has always been molded in. If you look at the Chip McCormick module here, uh, it course has the funnel already built into the bottom of the magazine well area. The tree bark module that most of you are probably familiar with seeing if you're relatively new to the STI platform uh, had an add-on aluminum funnel which was held on by an elongated mainspring housing pin. So hooks on in the front here and uh, swings onto the back and then a pin holds it in place an elongated special length pin. Right. I'm running most of my grip modules now with a uh, without the add-on funnel. Uh, I just use a regular 2011 length mainspring housing pin. You cannot use a 1911 length one because that's not wide enough. So on the shorter STI models, which came before, uh, had the VIP length grip module, which was basically an officer's length grip module. And they did that, created those by uh, cutting off the uh, magazine funnel section that was molded integral to the grip module and uh, relocating the mainspring housing pin hole and poof, there you have it. All right, so you've got this uh, shortened grip frame, uh, which does lose uh, the funnel at the bottom, the, the integrated plastic funnel uh, that's molded in, also loses the ability to add an add-on aluminum magazine well onto the gun because you're now missing the uh, little lip and flare at the bottom. So fast forward to the new Gen 2 ODS grip module or officer's double stack. So it's a nod to the Colt officer's model, uh, which has of course a shortened frame and back now is the flare at the bottom, uh, the integrated magazine well at uh, the bottom of the grip module. So that adds the big gaping opening that is uh, on the full size grip modules. So now with the ODS, you can also add on an external magazine well, uh, the, the add-on aluminum funnel, uh, if you like. It fits on there, uh, basically the same interface uh, as on the full length grip, it's just moved up a little bit. So the ODS grip frame takes a 120 millimeter flush fit magazine, which is a 16 round uh, capacity in nine millimeter. It accepts all the other magazines that are in the STI family as well. One of the other popular questions, hey, can I take the ODS module and put it on, you know, fill in a blank. As long as the gun that you're talking about sticking it onto is a double stack, STI 2011 from uh, 2018 or later production, which has the relief cuts that we talked about earlier, uh, you can put it on there and it's modular and as long as you understand how to deconflict any kind of fit issues. So you can put it onto uh, any other STI double stack uh, and it'll work. So I've got it here on my Staccato P Duo. It's a 2019 model, uh, went right on there. And of course I've got uh, my uh, flat trigger on there that I made from an STI gunsmith blank uh, and that required uh, some fitting and adjustment. So if you're trying to do it at home and doesn't all quite work out there, I told you so. So uh, it requires some gunsmithing. It's not a, not a drop on thing. One of the other questions that comes up, Hey, can you put one of the gen two grip modules, uh, the double stack grip modules onto staccato C, which is the small single stack nine millimeter or onto the new staccato R, which is a full size single stack in nine or 45. And the answer is no, the frame dimensions are different and the manner in which the single stack grip modules attach is uh, slightly different. So you can't mix and match and change their capacities like that. That's not how the guns are built. Next question, which comes up, Hey, when can I buy one of these to put onto my gun? 
Right now they're not for sale individually uh, because all of the production of the Gen 2 ODS grip modules and actually all the Gen 2 modules are being absorbed into production. Production is going uh, super crazy at the factory and they're going as fast as they can. So all the grip modules are getting absorbed into uh, guns and uh, it is anticipated and planned that uh, hopefully there'll be a, a catch up and uh, later sometime, I don't know, I'm not in charge of this stuff, uh, those will become available for you to add on. Uh, obviously, when that becomes available, I will let you guys know, and we'll also talk about how you can get these things onto your gun successfully without uh, making your thing into a paperweight. So, uh, but in due time. All right, that is it for today, and hopefully you've learned more about the Gen 2 and the ODS grip modules than you would possibly have wanted to learn. Uh, there it is all for you in one spot. Uh, until next time, you can follow along on the 108 Instagram and Facebook page for more 2011, 1911 uh, awesome content. And if you like the stuff, check out the training page on the 108 website, uh, link below, and you can come out and train with me and we'll shoot 1911s, 2011s, and talk about them all day long. And uh, it's a good time. Until next time, I'm Hilton Yam of 108 Performance, and remember, only performance counts. Thank <laughs> you.